Welcome to this video of Daily Current Affairs. This is episode 211 and the date is 18th of February 2019. If you have not subscribed to our channel Spinnacle and Frontier IAS, then please do subscribe. Click on the subscribe button or click on the bell icon. These are our websites given here: sscjlpinnacle.com and baljidaka.com. You can visit them as well. Now, yesterday's quiz: the World Sustainable Development Summit 2019. It is held in. state answer here is new delhi who has become the first woman flight engineer in iaf and the answer is hina jaiswal these are our answers let me take you to the first question recently who has issued new international standard for which of the following this is question number 1 answer is music devices question number 1 answer will be a the world health organization and the international telecommunication union they have issued a new okay they have issued a new standard international standard for the manufacture and use of musical devices and the aim behind the move is to prevent young people from going deaf sound allowances function software that tracks the level and duration of the users exposure to sound as a percentage used as a reference exposure okay why was this need the need was that because these days in the age group 12 to 35 years almost 50% of the people okay around 1.1 billion young people they are at risk of hearing loss due to prolonged and excessive exposure to loud sounds including music they listen to through personal audio devices so that's question number 1 let me take you to the next question question 2 recently who won international human rights prize this is question number 2 answer here is going to be abdul aziz mahot that's the answer question 2 my answer here is b b is is the right answer okay he is a sudanese refugee who spent 5 years in australia detention center on manus island in papua new guinea he was given the martin annals award 2019 in geneva switzerland for exposing the very cruel asylum seeker policy of the australian government so question number 2 the answer is abdul aziz mohammed okay now let me show you his picture this is his picture and he is from where he is from sudan next question question number 3 recently the governor of west bengal kesri nath tripathi he has launched a book simplicity and wisdom who is the author of this book this is question number 3 what is going to be the answer for question number 3 this book has been launched and you have to give me the name of the author books and authors are quite important for your exam answer here is going to be dinesh sahara okay answer here is going to be c question number 3 answer is c simplicity and wisdom this is written by dinesh sahara it was launched launched at parmarth ashram in kumbh mela it was launched by the governor of west bengal kesri nath tripathi and swami chidanand saraswati he is the head of parmanath ashram and this book is dedicated to late vedanti swami okay late vedanti swami praganath ji the book aims at guiding towards saintly wisdom and leading a contented and happy life so that is question number 3 here you can take a look at the picture the book being launched let's move on to the next question pahari dam modernization project it was recently inaugurated by the prime minister this is situated on which river question number 4 answer here is going to be dhasan question number The answer for this question is going to be question number 4 answer will be D Pahadi dam it's a water storage dam situated on the Dharsan river in Jhansi district it's a right bank tributary of the Betwa river and the river originates in Madhya Pradesh and the project will benefit farmers by reducing the water leakage from the dam and make more water available to the farmers so that's the information about this question let me show you a picture related to this question you can see our prime minister here Prime Minister Modi dedicates various development projects to the nation in Jhansi, Uttar Pradesh. Okay, next question now. Here you can see question number five. Who will be awarded the 2016 Tagore Award for Cultural Harmony on February 18, 2019? Okay, he was awarded. Question number five. Answer for question number five here is going to be Ram Sutar Vanji. Answer here is going to be C. The President Ram Nath Kovind he would be presenting the Tagore Award for Cultural Harmony to Rajkumar Singhjit Singh. Okay, and this award it's an annual award. It was instituted by the government. 
गवर्नमेंट ऑफ इंडिया ड्यूरिंग द कोमेमोरेशन ऑफ वन हंड्रेड बर्थ एनिवर्सरी ऑफ गुरुदेव रविंद्र टैगोर द फर्स्ट टैगोर अवार्ड वॉज कन्फर्ड ऑन पंडित रवि शंकर द इंडियन सितार मैस्ट्रो इन टू थाउजेंड एंड इन दिस अवार्ड देर इज अ कैश प्राइज ऑफ वन करोड़ रुपीज citation a scroll a plague etc the award is open to all persons regardless of nationality race language color etc okay so that's the information about this question and let me show you a picture related to this question see here you can see the picture here you can see the picture now let's move on to the next question we are on question number 6 In question six, you have been asked. Recently, government of India has made e-tourist visa applicable for how many new countries? And the answer here is going to be 166. Question number six. Answer is B, 166. E tourist visa introduced in September 2014 with 46 countries now this has been made applicable for 166 countries duration of stay in India of e tourist and e business visa is maximum up to 1 year with multiple entry subjects to the stay stipulations okay let me show you a picture related to this see here you can see the picture e visa next question recently the prime minister recently the prime minister modi he laid foundation of rupees 20000 crore defense corridor in which of the following state question number 7 okay the answer for question number 7 here is going to be the state of uttar pradesh uttar pradesh here is going to be my answer 7 my answer is up the prime minister narendra modi he laid the foundation of the flagship bundelkhand defense in industrial corridor in jhansi district of uttar pradesh the project is expected to cost around rupees 20000 crore the defense corridor from jhansi to agra remember that from where to where is it going to be built it is going to be from jhansi to agra it will strengthen the defense production in the country and stop migration the mega project would have snap six nodes at aligarh agra jhansi kanpur lucknow and chitrakoot now let me show you a picture related to this see here you can see the up defense defense industrial corridor let me show you where is up in a map this is up in the map this is the most populated state of our country this information i have often given you but let's quickly revise it capital is lucknow total district 75 governor is ram nayak chief minister is yogi adityanath in area it is fourth largest in size in population it is the largest in lok sabha they have 80 seats in rajya sabha 31 dudhua national park is located over here quite an important one okay the river ganga majorly flows through it and most of the cities are located either on the bank of the ganga or on the tributaries of ganga on the banks of the tributaries of ganga okay lucknow lucknow is also called the city of nawab alabad is located here which was recently named as prayag raj next question recently who has taken charge as new cbdt chairman this is question number 8 okay answer for question number 8 here is going to be pramod chandra modi answer here is going to be a a is the right answer okay the indian revenue officer pramod chandra modi he took over as the new chairman of central board of direct taxes he is a 1982 batch indian revenue service officer and uh, whose place has he taken he has taken the place of sushil chandra because sushil chandra he has recently been named as the election as a election commissioner okay the cbtt let me give you information about it uh, it is headed by a chairman and it can have a maximum of 6 members now let's take a look at the picture pramod chandra modi next question how much pension will be given to workers of unorganized sector per month after 60 years of age under pradhan mantri shram yogi mandhan yojana this is our question and the answer for this question is going to be 3000 rupees this yojana was recently started i have given you detailed information about this yojana in my previous videos as well okay what is going to be the answer yeah answer is going to be 3000 rupees on 15th of february 2019 our finance minister he has implemented the pradhan mantri shram yogi mandhan yojana it's a pension scheme for the laborers associated in the unorganized sector it was announced in the budget 2019 okay and this scheme will benefit up to 10 crore workers which include lower class workers laborers plumbers mechanics sweepers etc etc so answer your question number 9 will be 3000 rupees let's take a look at the picture see here you can see the picture 
नेक्स्ट क्वेश्चन विच स्टेट असेंबली हैज पास अ बिल टू एंड द मिनिमम एजुकेशन क्राइटेरिया फॉर पंचायत एंड सिविक पोल कैंडिडेट्स क्वेश्चन नंबर 10 दिस इज ओके आंसर हियर इज गोइंग टू बी द स्टेट ऑफ राजस्थान आंसर हियर इज गोइंग टू बी ए ए विल बी द राइट आंसर राजस्थान हैज डिसाइडेड टू डू दिस द राजस्थान असेंबली इट हैज रिसेंटली पास्ड टू बिल्स दे सीक टू एंड द मिनिमम एजुकेशन क्राइटेरिया फॉर पंचायत एंड सिविक पोल कैंडिडेट्स the previous government that is vasundhara raje led government had introduced education criteria and this was introduced in the year 2015 it required a candidate to pass class 10th for contesting the jila parishad panchayat samiti and municipal elections now defending the bill the panchayat raj minister sachin pilot stated that the previous act was against the basis uh, against the basic fundamentals of the constitution and society cannot be divided on the basis of education so now let me show you where exactly is rajasthan here you can see this is large state this is the state of rajasthan capital jaipur governor is kalyan singh chief minister is ashok gehlot legislature is unicameral with 200 seats in the lok sabha they have 25 seats in the rajya sabha 10 in area it is the largest in the country in population it is on the 7th position it is highly lagging behind in literacy some more additional information sambhar lake sambhar lake okay this is located in rajasthan quite an important lake there and mount abu is called the hill station of rajasthan jaipur the capital is known as the pink city okay now let me take you to the important keywords here are your important keywords who has introduced new international standard for music devices international human rights prize has been won by abdul aziz mohammed simplicity and wisdom this book is written by dinesh sahara pahadi dam modernization project okay it's on the dhasan river in jhansi 2016 tagore award was won by ram sutar vanji e tourist visa has been given in 166 countries by india defense corridor to be set up in up new cbdt chairman is pramod chandra modi pradhan mantri shram yogi man dhan yojana 3000 rupees per month pension will be given under this the bill to end the minimum education criteria for panchayat and civic polls okay this has been brought in in rajasthan so that's the summary of the keywords now let me take you to quiz for the day these are the two important questions recently government of india has made e tourist visas applicable capable for how many countries and pahari dam modernization project recently inaugurated by the pm is situated on which river i want you to answer both these questions and if you have liked the video definitely give it a thumbs up and share it wherever possible all the best thank you for watching bye bye